Hello, welcome to the Museum from Home, from the museum, at Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute in Utica, New York. I'm Mary Murray, I'm the Curator of Modern and Contemporary Art. February is Black History Month, so this month the Museum from Home segments will be in the form of these short videos to introduce works of art by notable African American artists in the museum's collection. Black History Month began in 1926 as Negro History Week, was the brainchild of historian Carter Woodson, and in 1976 officially became Black History Month. Now, alas, February is the shortest month, but it was chosen because it is the birth month of both Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. And in 1909, the centenary of Abraham Lincoln's birth, February 12, 1909, the NAACP was officially founded. Also in 1909, Norman Lewis was born. This is his painting from 1963 titled Heroic Evening, and Lewis lived primarily in Harlem until 1979. As a young artist, he painted in a representational style, um, a kind of social realism or American scene painting, genre pictures, scenes of everyday life in and around his Harlem neighborhoods. He worked on the WPA, the Back to Work Federal Program, um, during the 1930s and the Great Depression, but by the early 1940s, he, like many artists of his generation, started to work in a more abstract way. So we continue to see vestiges of representational figures, um, but, but by the end of that decade, uh, Lewis has transcended to a non-representational painting style for the most part. So he is an important link between the Harlem Renaissance and the abstract expressionists. The other artists with whom he was working, showing his work in exhibitions, and who was being written about, talking about uh, what it meant to be a painter in post-World War II America. His colleagues included Ad Reinhardt, Jackson Pollock, Lee Krasner, um, the de Koonings. So he was very much in the mix. He was represented by the Marion Willard Gallery, and that's how his work came to be in our collection because our patron, Edward Root, acquired three works on paper by Lewis in the late 1940s and early 1950s. And in 1952, in honor of Mr. Root, the museum purchased a painting titled Blending by Norman Lewis. And I believe it was the first museum purchase in the nation for Norman Lewis. This work is from 1963, as I say, and it uh, represents Lewis working in a beautiful nature-inspired, almost landscape format. Uh, one can hardly say that it's abstract. Uh, looking at it, it could be that we're standing on a shore looking out over the ocean and the different shades of blue are the waves of uh, water at different lengths or different distances from us. And it's uh, that time of day when the sky and the ocean meld. The setting sun creating uh, just a sparkle of bright light against this blue palette. Or perhaps he was looking out the window uh, at the sky over the city. I like that it's open-ended. Now, Norman Lewis, um, working in an abstract style, said that uh, for him, painting is, and I quote, the expression of the artist's reaction to the world around him by visual symbols, visual symbols which are untranslatable into verbal ones. So he's painting um, his reaction to that which is around him and invites us to contemplate uh, 
what it was that he saw and how that might be meaningful to us. I'd like to recommend to your attention an exhibition catalog that was produced by the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts in 2015 that has some excellent research that I used uh, to prepare for this presentation. And um, please join me next week when we'll talk about a collage by Romare Bearden. In the meantime, please stay well.